From the moment we got the first glimpse at the She-Hulk trailer a couple months ago, people knew that this was going to be a disaster. That's why you saw the massive backlash. And everything that has come out since, from the showrunners, from the writers, from all the people involved with this show, only confirmed people's fears about this series. And now that episode one is here, people can safely say yes. Everything they told you about this series, that the people who made this series clearly despise men, and they want to make sure that that comes through in their writing. This is a show made by activist women for activist women, and episode one was a great example of that. From the moment we started seeing things in those trailers about these training montages and Jennifer Walters' She-Hulk just being so much better inherently and, you know, catching on really quick, people said, I'm sure it's going to be different in the show. I'm sure it'll be different. Well, you know what? It's really not. In the show, she catches on to everything immediately. Bruce Banner says how jealous he is of her, and she proves to be right time and time again in this episode, and eventually she gets her way. She's just better than Bruce Banner. She can control herself, and Bruce Banner is jealous of Jennifer Walters. And along the way, if you didn't catch up on that anyway, if you didn't catch the drift that women have to go through so much more than men do, well, they pretty much spell it all out. Here's a little bit of a clip from this. Uh, let's listen to what Jennifer Walters says after she's getting a lesson from Bruce Banner that she wholeheartedly rejects about controlling her anger. Well, here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. So all of this just feels like projecting a lot of shit onto me. And if you thought maybe at the end here, it's like, oh, this is the lesson. She loses control. She loses temper. No. She, she's able to control that willingly, immediately. No training required, nothing. She's just great. And of course, it all leads up to this battle in the courtroom at the end where she doesn't even try. It's not even a problem. Like, she is just the best. Jennifer Walters, just immediately incredible. And that's essentially the way that this episode ends. So you get to see the fact that she is a lawyer. You get to see how the crash happened. And, you know, instead of like the comic books, instead of like the comic books where Bruce Banner saves her life by giving her a blood transfusion, otherwise she would die. No, it's the other way around, right? Jennifer Walters drags Bruce Banner out of a car crash, saves his life. That's kind of what's going on, right? And their blood gets mixed and she becomes a Hulk. But the way it ends, could it get any more cringe than this? J just take a listen. The literal definition of a moment. Yeah, 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 they wanna know. And just as an aside, we have to point this out. The amount of feet shots in this show, did Dan Schneider work on She-Oak? Is that what's going on? Because the amount of like gratuitous foot shots in this series, a little bit creepy. I'm ready to give my closing argument now. Just slay queen, slay queen. It's so incredible. This is what this series is, right? Again, it's made by activist women for activist women. They hate men and they want to make sure you know that. Several times throughout this episode, that was put on full display. I imagine we'll see more. This is the best they got. Uh, this is supposed to be a comedy. It wasn't really funny, but I guess no one should be surprised by that. Already, we have people at the direct trying to say, look, it's getting, it's getting review bombed by men in their 30s. And of course, what they, you know, fail to mention in this with MCU Direct, what they fail to mention, I think somebody mentioned it here, look, there's a lot of people not being honest. They tried to act like it's getting review bombed. Oh, the one-star reviews far outweigh anything else. Look at the fake 10-star reviews. This happened before the series released. Well, it's getting positively re review bombed by women in their 30s. Considering the fact that this is who the series is made for, maybe that makes sense. I don't know if it's going to work out long term. I think that she all is cringe and it's only going to get worse. It'll be interesting to see when we get some sort of data on this, what the numbers will be for She-Hulk, because quite honestly, I think it's going to be appealing to a very fringe minority of people. They make Bruce Banner out to be a bitch. They make Hulk out to be a bitch in this. I heard some people saying maybe the show's not as bad as it's been, you know, rumored by a lot of people with the backlash. I honestly thought it was a little bit worse than I expected. Maybe not the worst thing Marvel's ever put out, but 
It's typical phase four. This is Marvel now. This is the MCU. Focus on identity politics. Focus on all these things that aren't actually a story from people who aren't there to entertain. They're just there to push their narrative. Let me know what you think about She-Hulk episode one. If you watched or if you've seen the reactions, let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.